Welcome, it's uh, Phil here, Property Share Market Economics. Short and sharp. You might have noticed, you should have noticed, the last couple of years, you really have to ask yourself how it is that the world's economists got things so wrong. You know, they said after they said during the pandemic that things would absolutely collapse. Then in uh, 2000, 2022, absolutely nobody knew that, uh, well, nobody was able to forecast that, um, that we'd have a bare year and uh, rates would go up as they did. Then when interest rates did go up, absolutely every single economist said there'd be a recession because housing is directly related to interest rates, which it isn't. You have to know the real estate cycle much more. Um, and then of course, right throughout 2023, economists will again continue to forecast recession. I believe that myself, Akhil, and the team here at Property Share Market Economics, we were the only people in the world that told you that, in, that despite interest rates going up, house prices would not fall. In fact, they would continue to go up, especially in the United States. I said continually that um, there would not be recession. And I also said this year, you could, and um, uh, members would have seen in our 2023 roadmap, I said there'd be a market low in March. From there, markets would substantially recover. And I also commented that by the end of 2023, US stock markets would be approaching all-time highs. And here we are. Now, why is it that I can make a better forecast than practically every, every other single economist they, they, who always get it wrong? It's because economics has been corrupted. It's quite deliberate that it's been corrupted. Classical economists, before about 1900, they all knew three factors of production, land, labor, and capital. And up until that time, uh, there was a quite a substantial and marked land reform movement that was really gaining steam. Because of that, the threat to the elite, those who run the economy, and people in government particularly, they simply had to stop that movement. And they did that by, by writing land out of the equation and reducing the three factors of production, land, labor, and capital, to two, labor and capital. So in effect, land became capital. It isn't. And whilst this, this uh, misunderstanding continues, economists will never be able to accurately forecast, so you should stop listening to them. I urge you, read this book. It was done by Mason Gaffney uh, a fair while ago now, forward by, by uh, Fred Harrison. Anything Fred writes you should be reading. Get yourself a copy and start to understand why you should stop listening to the opinions of economists and start reading about land. Okay, I'll leave it there for today. Read the book.